Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do, we've got our cortex hooked up, we've got our motors hooked up to the, we've got one motor hooked up to the cortex. When we first come into Robot C, we need to test the connection between the cortex and the computer. So sometimes when we plug the cortex in via USB, the Windows doesn't automatically recognize it or the, motor, the driver assignment to the USB port is slow. Something happens where Robot C can't communicate with the Cortex. So the very first thing we're gonna do is set up that communication between Robot C and the Cortex through the Windows computer, okay? So how we do that in Robot C is we do a couple of settings. We go to Robot first and we go to Platform Type and we're gonna set, since we're on the VEX EDR, this is like the classroom style robotics, uh, we're going to go to the, we're going to set VEX2 Cortex first, okay? Then we're going to come into platform type and we're going to set natural language, um, natural language, either natural language will do. We're going to do PLTW here. We can also do 2.0. Then we're going to go into robot again, okay? So those are the first two settings. We're going to go to robot again. We're going to do VEX Cortex communication mode. We're going to set it to USB only. Then we're going to go into robot again. We're gonna set compiler target and do physical robot. Okay, those are the settings that make it make us able to communicate with the robot. Now to test it, we're gonna kill two birds with one stone. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna update the firmware and test the connection at the same time. So we're gonna to go to robot, download firmware, and then automatically update VEX Cortex. And we're gonna click that right there. We're gonna click okay. And then what we should get is we should get this, either it's going to download or it's gonna give us this, this message saying all firmware versions on this VEX Cortex are up to date. We click OK. At that point, we know that Windows has recognized the VEX Cortex and that Robot C can download things to the VEX Cortex just fine. Okay, so that's our check. At that point, we're ready to program.